Hey, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna tackle a question I've been getting a lot recently on this channel, and that is, why is my Fire Stick not performing like it used to? My remote's not working, an app is jammed, I can't switch between screens, it's in another language. I've gotten so many crazy questions uh, recently about the Fire Stick, especially since the latest update. And I always ask the same question, when's the last time you restarted your Fire TV Stick? And almost every time, you guys answer back, well, I turn my TV off every day. Well, that's great. You should turn your TV off every day, but you should also turn your Fire Stick off. And turning your TV off does not turn your Fire Stick off. And that's why there's a separate power cord from your Fire Stick that goes to an outlet. This port right here is an HDMI port. It does not power your Fire Stick. So turning your TV off does nothing to your Fire Stick. So let's get in the habit of restarting our Fire TV Stick on a regular basis. I do it at least two or three times a week and every day I put it to sleep. So we're gonna talk about those in today's video. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, now let's just assume your Fire Stick is not working like it used to, maybe it's a little slow, but you still have access to your remote control. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use your remote control, we're gonna pull up a quick little shortcut menu. So what you do, hold down that home button on your remote, it's right there, it looks like a little home. Just hold it down for a few seconds and this screen will pop up. Now once this screen pops up, you're gonna see a few different options. One of them is sleep. Putting your Fire Stick to sleep when you're done using it every time is a great idea. It's not using resources, it's not jamming up all the processes on your Fire Stick, even when your TV's off, if you put it to sleep first. Now we're gonna go all the way over to settings because I'm gonna show you how to restart it or reboot it. Now this is going to really improve the performance of your Fire TV Stick. So click on the settings, go all the way down to My Fire TV and then go down to Restart. Don't reset it. Reset the factory is a completely different process. You're gonna click restart. Now that's going to restart your Fire TV Stick. Now again, why would you want to do that? Well, restarting your Fire Stick kind of clears up everything. It's the same with your phone or your computer. You just have to turn them off once in a while. You get better performance. It fixes a lot of little issues you could be having on your Fire TV Stick. You want it to perform good. You want it to last. I mean, people, it's hard-earned money you spend on this and you want it to work. So that's how you get best performance out of your Fire Stick. You just restart it once in a while. Really simple. Hopefully it, I helped you do that. Now, really quickly, let's just say for example, you have a Fire TV stick that is completely jammed up so bad and frozen, you can't use your remote. Um, a lot of people will say, well, why don't you just use the Fire TV app? Well, if your remote control isn't working, there's a good chance the Fire TV app isn't gonna work either. So I know this sounds silly, but the easiest way to solve this is very simple. Just unplug this from your TV, take the power cord. Power cord looks like this right here. Just this little guy right here. So this actually is what powers your Fire TV stick. Just unplug it, all right? Now that's gonna restart your Fire Stick. Literally just leave it, leave it there for about, I don't know, 60 seconds just to be safe. Probably don't even need that, but why not? Just leave it for 60 seconds, go have a sandwich, come back, plug it back into the power, then plug it back into your TV. Guys, guess what? It's a good chance that's gonna fix a lot of your problems. That's what's considered a hard reboot and it does not harm your Fire Stick. In fact, if anything, it's a good idea to do once in a while. The only circumstance to which that would not be good for your Fire Stick is if your Fire Stick is updating at the time that you unplug it. So make sure you look at your screen and make sure it's not saying updating. Because if it is, you're gonna have more problems, you're gonna have to factory reset it, which you can certainly do, but you lose all your settings. But that's what you need to do. Guys, restarting your Fire Stick's a great idea. Um, and if you, I know this is kind of a beginner's video, and a lot of you guys probably already know how to do this, but some of your family and friends might be new to the Fire TV Stick and you didn't know you had to restart the Fire Stick or how to restart the Fire Stick. Save this video, share it with them, throw it on your Facebook, make sure everybody knows about this because I wanna make sure everybody that is using the Fire TV Stick is having a really good experience. And hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber and returning to watch my videos, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up right down below this video as well. It does help this video and I thank you for watching our videos. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.